Okay, here we are in some basic photo editing applications. Um, in our case study, our dad used um, one of the photo editing apps he used is Pixlr. Um, so if we open up our browser in Google, we can type Pixlr and we hit enter. And our first option here is the Pixlr photo editor. And this is a this is a more robust editor. It's absolutely free. Um, you can use it. Um, there's also this um, Express editor. It's a little more um, basic, uh, comes with uh, more filters, kind of like Instagram. We'll cover that in another tutorial. But first, let's go into the into the uh, pixel art editor. This is a cool one. It first comes up with a, a window asking you to open up a picture. You know, you got to open up a picture to edit. Um, we're not going to create one from scratch. We're going to open one from our computer. So let's click this one. Uh, here's our folder from our case study. So let's go through here, find an image that has not been edited. Let's pick this one. That's straight out of the camera. When we first open it up, oh no, it comes up sideways. What are we going to do? Well, that's pretty easy. Up here's our menu. Um, our different functions we can do. The file one, that's where we save or open. Um, edit, that's where we can uh, um, do some copy, some paste. Um, one important button you're going to want to know is the undo button. So if you edit something and you don't like it, you want to undo it, just go up to edit and undo. We'll, we'll show example of that in a second. The image button. This is the one we're going to, or the image menu. This is what we're going to want for to fix this. So under the image menu, there's this thing called rotate canvas 90 degrees CCW. CCW means counterclockwise. So let's click that. And there we go. Turn it around. Looks great. Uh, and then we have our adjustments. Um, here we can do levels, um, curves. Uh, we'll get in more into that in probably other tutorials. But let's just do a, one basic adjustment. Let's open up the brightness and contrast. Now I want to adjust the contrast a little bit. See how her shirt's kind of, it's, it's a little bit light. Her skin's uh, it's a little bit light. So let's just drag this contrast up. See where her skin and hair start to change. The shirt gets a little bit darker. I like this adjustment. So let's say OK. Another thing we can do is, uh, well, let's get back to our mouse pointer here. We can, uh, we can zoom in by scrolling the mouse or zoom out. So we can get a little closer. So now that we got our contrast adjusted, let's look at this photo a little, a little bit better. Um, Let's uh, drag this up to where we can zoom in on her face a little better. Now one thing I want to show that's so important on this photo editing thing is how you do spot removals. Uh, see this little band-aid over here? These are all your other tools in Pixlr and we'll go through and use some of these. We're probably not going to talk about all of them in this tutorial, but one important one is this spot heal tool. Um, we can fix small blemishes on the skin with a spot heal or spot healing tool. So see my little circle here as my mouse turned into when I click that spot healing tool. We are going to go over a spot and we are going to click our mouse. Look how it healed that little spot on her face. Isn't that amazing? Awesome for photo editing. Now, um, you don't want to overdo this, right? If you have different uh, contrasts here like right here it wouldn't work too well um, so just little areas here and there like let's say we wanted to do that one right here we can get rid of that one okay there we go so small spot healings looks great awesome now another one that I want to show you over here is the crop tool um, our case study dad took these pictures. He actually edited some of his pictures in Pixlr, and uh, maybe we'll have a little interview with with him and his wife at the end, and and, and get their perspective on all this. But um, let's look at this crop tool. Um, the crop tool is, um, you know, we're gonna fix. Like, say when dad took this picture, he didn't frame it quite right. Right? We want it to end right here under her elbow but that's okay he's new he's a beginner he did an awesome job he got great photos but let's just say you know he just didn't do this one quite right we want to go back and fix it now you know what we can fix it we have the power so let's grab our little crop tool we got a, a crosshair there we're going to go to the upper corner click hold our mouse button in 
drag it down to where we want it to stop and then we're going to let go of our mouse button and there it creates our crop frame between these four dots now with, to finish this crop we're going to need to hit the enter key and it crops our picture down now we have it framed the way we originally wanted it framed um, looks awesome um, so now next let's go over to this filter menu here we can add all kinds of crazy stuff in here and some of this you may never use in your senior senior picture editing some of it you know you will um, like for example let's say we wanted to add a glamour glow to this oh there we go there's our glamour glow we can zoom in Woo, that's a little bit too much so now we want to fix this so what do we do we go to edit undo done perfect so now back to our filter let's try a small vignette we click vignette now these are sliders now see it automatically put it at 50 we don't want that much of a vignette so we're gonna back this slider down we just click and we drag and we just want the corners just barely blackened there we go let's call it that say okay there's our vignette now another tool over here in this bar oh and, and see I still have my crop tool selected I want to get away from that so I just click back to my pointer then then I can do other things here without accidentally cropping again so another thing in this bar I want to show you about is the text tool so we click down here now here's where it gets a little interesting and I won't go too much in this in the first tutorial because it'll get confusing but when I click my text tool watch this layers box over here I click on the screen it creates a new layer that's my text layer so let's drag this up where we can see it first off I want to make this text bigger so let's make it into the 80s here and we're just going to type 2015 we're going to set it to italics and I want to make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to say OK so now go back to my pointer tool you can see I have this new layer now remember in elementary school and maybe you're too young to remember this maybe I'm showing my age but when we had the overhead projector in class the teacher would put transparencies on it and you could layer different transparencies up like one say one transparency had words the next one had pictures well if you put one on top of the other you could see the words and the picture up on the screen on the on the wall at the same time well those would be considered layers so anytime we create layers here um, in our photo editing the bottom one and then the top one here right we have two layers so this top one is always going to be on top of this bottom one so it will show up now if we were to move this down below our bottom layer we would never see this 2015 so that's just something to keep, keep in mind with layers uh, don't worry we'll go over more of that in the future um, so let's just right click this text layer and let's say oh we want to add a little style to it so we're going to click layer styles um, we've got all these styles we could do like a drop shadow see how it puts the 2015 underneath it um, we could reduce the distance of our drop shadow uh, adjust it that away um, we don't really want a drop shadow so let's go with let's go with a bevel um, see how we create a little distance on it it thins it out a little bit um, I think we're just gonna leave that like that um, oh one more thing I wanted to note during our layer style if we go back to our bevel is we could go with different opacities and this is for the highlights so you're not gonna see it that well but but what opacity does is that gives you the ability to see through this object um, so we could make that you know a little bit see-through just to make it look a little different so keep that opacity in mind we'll get to that later don't worry um, so I think I'm done there I like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to my file menu I'm gonna save and now I want to give this a different name because I don't want to overwrite my original I want to keep my original intact so I'm gonna call this edit P I X L R one. Whoops, hit my keyboard, sorry. And we're gonna pull our quantity up, our quality up, I'm sorry. And that's gonna make the file big, so this is gonna take a second.
and we're going to say OK. Save it to the same place where we opened it. And again, it's going to take a second because the file is kind of big, and this is a web application. And it's done. There we go. We're done. We have our first edit. Uh, Pixelar Photo Editor. Check it out. Really cool if you want to get into editing. Um, don't worry. We're going to go into more professional editing tools. Uh, we're going to go to Adobe Lightroom, Adobe Photoshop. Um, those are also really cool tools. That's what I like to use. Um, you really great looking professional results. Uh, we're going to go into more of these tutorials also of the free tools. Um, try to cover a little bit of everybody. Um, but really, I think we're going to stick to those three. So let us know what you think. Uh, get out there. Try some edits. Uh, I think you're going to love it as much as I do. It's just a lot of fun, the editing. Uh, thanks for watching DIY Senior Pictures, DIYPortrait.com. Check us out. Thank you.